morning. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us for another reflection. Just got done saying Mass. So if you were there with us earlier this morning, you know I talked about today is the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena and how important for her it was for each of us to experience freedom in our lives and in our relationship with Christ. And of course, that first and foremost stems with us acknowledging that Christ is the freedom in our life. But secondly, you know, just how do we how do we get that freedom? Well, we all have attachment to sin. We have original sin in our lives, of course, and through baptism, through that wonderful sacrament, that first part of initiation into our relationship with Christ, it removes that original sin. But then throughout life, there's those moments where we have lack of trust. Uh, and just our own growing in spiritual maturity where we choose things other than God, that's called sin. We all have it in our life. We all know about it. It's not fun. It's not something we're particularly um, proud of. It's quite humbling, a little embarrassing. And of course, the church gives us the sacrament of confession. This opportunity for us to go before the Lord and to do, as it said in Saint's sacred scriptures, to allow uh, those burdens on our heart through the power of the apostles passed on through the bishops. And here, Bishop David Malloy ordaining me a priest last year and the other priests here, we have the power going all the way back to the apostles and most importantly to Christ to forgive sins. That when we say, I absolve you of your sins, that burden is gone. And you can be in that true freedom again. But it's just, I think, a part of human nature for us who don't know that sacrament very well. It's like, no, can't really go to confession. Not an option. It's just, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really want to tell this holy man, hopefully, if you're going to another priest, if it's me, maybe not. But I don't want to tell this guy who, you know, is a priest, the worst parts of my life, brothers and sisters, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't let the lie of the evil one keep you burdened. To go in just like you would go to a doctor and say like, oh, you know, I've got this pain. I've got this wound. I've got this issue. You got to tell them exactly what's going on so that the physician can heal that wound. And Christ, the divine physician, of course he knows all things. But a part of it for us in that humility is to recognize like, Lord, this is where I went looking for something to satisfy me. And it wasn't you. This is exactly where I went. To name it, to call it out, and to give it to Christ. Because the priests, not only are we like God's divine physician, but we're also a little bit kind of like garbage men. We see the same sins every single day. We have confessions here at St. Patrick's every single day. They're not that interesting. Your, your morality is not that cool or lack thereof. So brothers and sisters, the point I'm trying to make today, through the intercession of St. Catherine of Siena, allow yourself to experience that freedom. Allow yourself to let that healing begin. Go to confession. Whether it's a drive-in confession at your local church or if you're able to get to St. Patrick's, we have confessions every single day. Today will be at noon at the downtown church and tomorrow will be here at, at six. Of course, you can look at our website for all our confession times, but don't let yourself go another day without being free so that you can just receive all of the graces that the Lord wants to give you during this time. Brothers and sisters, my name is Father John Claydar. From all of us priests here at St. Patrick's, we're praying for you and as always, please pray for us. God bless you. Have a great day.